All right, welcome back. Well, we're just one week away from Christmas. Santa has been very busy making his list, oh, checking yes. it twice, prepping for the big day. So has the Paul Nigra Center for Creative Arts in Gloversville and Transitions, which supports young people with autism and learning differences. Now, they've come up with this great way to make meeting Santa an accessible experience for all. Today, we're joined by Father Christmas himself and Jennifer Fiegels, a director from Transitions. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. I got to tell you, I was so excited when I heard Santa was going to be in the building. I was going to wear my red <laughs> suit to, uh, you know, kind of get in the festive holiday spirit. But then I thought, we, we can't wear the same thing. You can't I got to let him have him space. So I thank appreciate you guys that, for Matt. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about this Sensory Santa experience that Transitions is putting on this week. So the Sensory Santa is for children with autism or other sensory processing struggles. Um, and it's a quieter environment. Um, Santa wears a softer suit. Um, the lights are lower. The music is quieter. They get individual time with Santa. Um, they'll also leave the experience with a gift and some activities to do um, either at home or at the Paul Niagara Center. Um, it's just a nice, softer way for the children to experience Santa. And I know that uh, people had to pre-register for this, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Yes, there was a pre-registration, but it's still open. If you give us a call at the Transitions uh, Building or the Paul Niagara Center, um, it's absolutely still open for registration. Now, Santa, or Mr. Claus, should I say, yeah. <laughs> so nice of you to attend this event. What are you most looking forward to? What's got you most excited for this? Well, I enjoy when the children come out and they have some activities to do before they're able to come see me. So as they sit there and they go through and have some hot chocolate and do the activities, and then when they come in, we have some time to sit and get to know each other. So it's nice to have a little time with each of the, the, the kids as they come in to see me. A little more one-on-one. -on -one. That's great. Absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like a fun-filled day. Now, if families aren't able to make it to this event, uh, but if they're hearing about transitions for the first time mm -hmm. right now and they want to get involved, how can they do that? Uh, you could give us a call, um, at, again, at the Transitions Building um, in Mayfield. You can also look at our website, transitionsusa.org. Um, send me an email, give me a call. I'd be happy to provide a tour, give some more information. We've recently opened a location in Albany um, and also at the SUNY Cobleskill campus. And I know that the programs vary from day programs, weekend programs, summer long experiences. So there's really a variety of ways to get involved. Correct. We, um, our full year program is for children, excuse me, students who have graduated from high school, but we offer um, weekends in summer for students who are finishing high school um, to give it a try and experience what transitions can offer. And it's so exciting now knowing that people can still go on Tuesday to the Sensory Friendly Santa Experience, even if they didn't register. Correct. So when, what are the when and where and how for people to attend? So it's Tuesday, December 20th at our Mayfield um, location from 3.30 till 5 p.m. Great. Good stuff. Now, I got to ask Santa, is there anything we can do in the weather department to kind of help your travels? Do you like it warm or do you like a cool, crisp Christmas Eve? We would like some snow, Matt. So I saw your report coming up and it looks okay for us. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm hopeful we'll have at least a little bit on the ground. And then final question from me, at least, all the kiddos out there need to know, how can they best help you refuel? Is it really milk and cookies? Do you like hot cocoa? Do you like the eggnog? What's your preferred go-to? I love the milk and cookies. Chocolate chip has always been my favorite. You You'll be happy to know I was double checking. Juliana and Matt, you're both on my nice list. Yes, Let's awesome. Go. <laughs> we work hard all year for this moment. You, you should too, kids. I mean, great to be on the good side of the list. Absolutely. And we know that if you're watching News 10, you're obviously on that list. Absolutely. Thank you both for joining Thank us. Thank you very so much, much for having us. All right, we have more weather and news after the break, so do stick around. <laughs> 